<laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's such a weirdo. Okay. How weird am I? <laughs> Dishes are always I've grown done. up it's do that. Funny. I leave. I've I don't grown up do that. <laughs> That's what you just said. <laughs> I just said. No. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I want to see how I get that camera. Well, this is live stream, right? Mm hmm. So let's see when the questions start coming up. <gasps> It's like okay. Frank A B B nine. Hi Frank. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, hey, Kanichiwa. That's my line. <laughs> I always say Kanichiwa. Does that mean bye in Chinese? No, that's just, that's hi. Is that hello? Yeah. I think it's bye. No. Kanichiwa. <laughs> so we decided to do a quick Q and A. We have a few new subscribers and we thought it'd be fun to kind of let you guys in on some questions um, just so you get to know us and have also I'd just, like to get to know you <laughs> still figuring me out still. <laughs> and just a, a very light type of video to bring to you guys so I okay. asked on Instagram and here are some of the questions we'll try to answer all of them or at least <clears> as many <throat> as we can all right Ooh. I'm nervous here. I'm nervous too <laughs> Okay, what did you guys? There think? better be something good in here, like that really catches us off guard. Yeah, but like, would not you like answer in a, bad a way. super personal question? Sure. Like, what's your shoe size? I would never tell anyone. No, come on, no, one, no way. That's way too personal. No, I people, hope nobody. People asks are that. not gonna take our sarcasm. Like, they're not gonna get it. Okay, first question: What did you guys think of each other when you first met? Where are you reading that? This one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll go first. <laughs> I have a way better memory of this. So we were at why, why, oh, okay. we were at a wedding. I was a wedding singer. Well, I was in a band in church, and we traveled. And I went to Rochester. Was it Rochester at that time, or Syracuse? I was best man at three weddings where you were the wedding singer at. She was in a band, so I, I went saw to New York. You. No, oh, I saw time. you first. I saw him first. He was the best man who was stealing the spotlight of, you know, pretty, pretty much the bride and the groom didn't matter. So my first, it's I'm just true. kidding, I'm That's kidding. not true. So my first impression of him was <laughs> that, well, my first impression was when you came into the room. That was literally the first time I've ever seen you. And what'd you think? I was like, dang, that guy's got a lot of confidence. Yeah, that's how you were walking in. Hey. Literally, he's walking down the aisle like... I kind of was. Yeah. I think so. So my first impression was that guy is so freaking confident in himself. <laughs> he is definitely stealing the spotlight. But that's like not true nowadays, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought he was very confident and I never thought in a million years that I would be dating him, let alone get married to him. So, um, yeah, let's my hear first, first impression, impression of you was you were stunning. Wow. Very beautiful. Thank you. And I wanted to get to know you more. <laughs> why are you looking like that? Like obviously that's why we're married. Yeah, I think I, I, know. I, and maybe I not, think it progressed to the that, level where we got married. I, mean, I found maybe we, it's hard to believe we linked was... up the during the three weddings we actually never talked to each other. That's why it's like you didn't think that you wanted to talk to me right then and there. It was like three years later. Do you know how many okay. how many girls you had to talk to? Her? <laughs> so I wasn't gonna say anything. That was a good one. No. That's good. Uh, that was so true. No, but during um, the in the three weddings we actually never talked, mm -hmm. and I found her on Facebook. Yes. Um, that might actually, answer that's some how other our, questions that are here. How we met. That's how our relationship progressed yeah, from there, Facebook. from Facebook. So thank so you, thankful Facebook. So thankful for Facebook. Thankful for um, that first message that you sent. And then me. we met in, at, in in Philadelphia. Yeah, you came down. Yeah. And so, then the okay. rest is history. I think, that's, then I I think we like overkill this question. No, that was so good. <laughs> what company do you guys go through when you book your trips? Um, usually cheap Caribbean. Cheap Caribbean. I think we did orbits. Um, orbits. Well, I use or well, honestly, we like check every yeah. website. And once Online. we find the hotels that we like, we narrow it down and just kind of like it's always cheap Caribbean though, like ninety five percent of the time. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Then, probably. 
it's it's either orbits or cheap caribbean but yeah we really do go through like i'll go like she'll find something it's usually her she finds something and then i say okay we'll check like seven other websites to make sure it's the best deal out there yeah um and, and then I feel like Cheap Caribbean is just the easiest to book. We in. never get booking insurance, travel insurance. We, we just kind of wing it. it. <laughs> it's always been good. Yeah. So. Um, we, oh, don't book. The biggest thing is don't book the transport through Cheap Caribbean. They really hike up their fees with I the transport. I love how this went from... What? <laughs> just saying, where do you book? Well, Cheap Caribbean books, their transport really, their fees suck. All right. Okay, their fees suck, so decline their transportation. Oh my god. And wherever you're going, Mexico, Punta Cana, go directly on their website, like put in Punta Cana. Airport. Uh, you airport wouldn't transfer. even know. I'm the one that sure, does you do it. it. But it's like you save, you save like 150 bucks, mm -hmm. I think. Probably more. Yeah, so the transport through their, their website is a ripoff. Go through, don't. And don't know. get into any weird cars, too. <laughs> Weird cars are fine. Okay, next question. Best places to travel with toddlers based on your experience? That's hard. Um, any all-inclusive resort. Yeah, I guess. I don't think. But then again, I love going to Florida. Bring, with bring your, bring your strollers and your car seats if you're going to Florida. Florida's great. Well, for us, it's easy to fly to Florida. Car seats and strollers are free. It's like you you don't pay for that, by the way. So that's bring that stuff. Because some, exactly. I feel like, people, like a freaking like yeah, <laughs> you're like giving them your traveling tips in every. Question. Well, it's about travel, so They're it's just like it's a tip. the best place to go with toddlers. Well, okay. <laughs> don't forget your car seats. No, for us, the best place would probably be all inclusive. It doesn't really matter where at oh. that point because they make it easy for you. There's no hassle. It's like you book, you fly, and you're there, and you don't have to worry about anything else. That's yeah, Mexico, me. Punta Cana. We never had a preference really before. Well, we preferred Mexico up until all like now. It's kind of as if it's unsafe. I don't know if it is safe anymore. I don't know, but we're going to Punta Cana until. We try to stay away from the cartel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so, okay, yeah, and, and, also, and even, like, all inclusive, we, we've loved, the only place we really <laughs> hate was Lifestyle Resort, never go there, <laughs> Lifestyle, you suck, we will never go back. We hate you. <laughs> I was going to say, we live on the East Coast, so for us, we're saying go to the Caribbean because it's right there for us, it's like a four-hour flight max. <laughs> okay. I mean, you live in California. What's up with all your traveling tips? <laughs> You started it. You're making my ugly laugh come out. I'm supposed to be like, hee 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 hee. So for us, it doesn't matter if it's Mexico or the Dominican. My point is, it's all inclusive in general. Yeah, but maybe Mexican. someone's thinking, like, oh, I want to go to like Minnesota. You can go to Minnesota. Don't, don't Have go to all inclusive. Like, so there's no, like. <laughs> I can't stop okay. laughing. I have the giggles. Right. How did you guys meet? That oh, that's the same question from a different person. What, what was, was your first, first impression? impression? Y'all know mine. Um, what are the things that annoy you the most about each other? <laughs> Where do I start? Oh my gosh! Let me take my list out. <laughs> I've been waiting for this question. Oh, okay. I need to like. All right. Let's just be completely honest okay. and like, but not be angry at each other. <laughs> Right. Don't be angry. Sure, do at me. you want to go? You look like you really want to go first. <laughs> oh, I'm actually first. very curious. What you, I'm pretty near perfect. <laughs> no, my heart's like has like palpitations. I'm so it's nervous right now. Really? Yeah. No. No. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so wait, what was the question? The things that annoy, annoy you. And then we got pet okay. peeves as well. So, so that's I'm gonna, question. you see pet peeves? Pet peeves. Where are your pet, so pet, pet peeves? Pet peeves, okay. annoyances. Okay, do you want, I'll go first. You go first, you're really I'll lay it out here. Peeves. All right, so, <laughs> the thing oh that comes my to mind, and this is, but this is new, this actually just started. So, I I work <laughs> out of my office, I oh, work at I home know what a you're lot. Say. Yeah, because we've actually talked about this like the week before. Um, All week, apparently. <laughs> I'll be in my office and I'm working on something and it's important. I kind of just want to get it done. And then I hear, honey, <laughs> honey. 
<laughs> at first I pretend not to hear her, hoping maybe she's gonna come down she's or something. She's gonna go away. <laughs> hoping like she goes away or something. And it's like, honey, honey, you hear me? It's like, what? Come here. <laughs> so <clears throat> I come all the way upstairs. <laughs> And then oh, it's yeah. the most ridiculous <laughs> question or yeah, thing ever. Like, what do you think of like this? Like, <laughs> did you see this dent in the molding or something? I don't know, like the, the, something that like doesn't matter. Or I'll be like, what shade of lipstick do you like better? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's important. Just come downstairs to me. I want to finish my work. I'm like, I'm like typing away or something. Just like doing my paperwork. I want to be done. And sure. I want to get out of my office. I want to leave. And any little hiccup <laughs> holds me back. It's like, now I gotta come upstairs, decide. It's like, just come downstairs, talk to me, and be like, hey, what? And then I'll be like, that one. Marriage and then I can get back to my- Marriage counseling get a YouTube get channel. Get back to my work. I just wanna get down to my- so, so you saying, come here when it's not important, probably tops my list. For me, with you, it's like a silly thing. I feel like it's- <laughs> I feel like it's not- It's just like- Don't be too brutal. There's nothing aside. There's like, you're- your habits in general. You're a very clean person. Would thank God me being so OCD. But the, <laughs> yeah. but the one thing for me about you is when you get ready, like let's be more specific, when you shave, brush your teeth, do whatever the heck you do when you need water. Okay. I'm not kidding when I say it looks like we have like a sprinkler system in the bathroom. The whole mirror is like sprinkle down with water. The sink is soaking wet. Like it is like we can have like a slip and slide in the bathroom. And I'm always like, honey, it's honestly, can you wipe it down? And he always says, bad. mind you, he walks away and now you're like getting dressed or something. He walks away and when I mention it, his excuse always literally same thing all the time. You're like, I was gonna come back to wipe it. Like, no, you weren't. You already forgot. You didn't even know you made this I mess. I always intend to come back to wipe it. And you it. never does. Okay, actually, today no. you did. I paid attention. I literally I paid today. attention because we got to get ready together today. See, and I I'm saw not... you wiping it down. I was like, what is your favorite quality about one another? Physical, Physical and, and characteristic. characteristic. Ooh, I like this question. Physical, okay. Well. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I love your uh <laughs> My but I do nails. love her little it's it's not dimples. It's the little it's like really divot. like your crease. Yeah, you know, he likes smile. my crease. I hate my crease. Every ever since like we I first met you. Yeah, this is so true. It's like whenever she smiles, she has like they come up, they're like almost like little chipmunk stuff. I she love that. <laughs> it's they're not big. It's not like I love it. Thanks. I love it. See, that's a, right there. <laughs> My face is laughing and smiling in this whole video. Um, so that's physically. Physical. Like obviously, you are hot. Like wow. I think I think you are hot. <laughs> Jeez, don't flatter me. <laughs> I, I keep going. But honestly, I'm. You're very beautiful. You. I think you are the most beautiful girl oh, in the world. Sweet. But like, like so certain physical stuff. Yeah, your your smile is like. You're so cute. Always gets me happy. I, see. <laughs> I want to say your eyes, but dang, this guy's got some nice legs. I mean, if I'm real, you know I love really? your legs. Really? I always talk about your legs. I was just telling you about your legs today. Yeah, but I didn't think it was like your... You said, like, yeah, your legs are nice, but like... No, I guess... When you say that's your... That's like hot. Okay. <laughs> that's like probably... Your eyes, so, yeah. eyes is too cliche. Like, okay, the cheeks, that's different. Nobody freaking yeah, compliments always, cheeks. Are you always checking out my legs? I love your legs. I don't know. It's not, it's like literally your full freaking leg from the top no. to the bottom. There's something about those legs. Oh, gosh. Why? Look, not, at, look at that. Not like that when it's they're like, bare. Like, when it's they're bare. like a pair of shorts. I got bare legs. <laughs> and a pair of shorts are like right before you get into bed. I'm like, man, that guy's got some nice legs. I don't know. It's weird because you'd compliment it's a that, legs. It's all that Peloton, baby. No, Peloton. dude, you've always had such nice legs. They're, they're really nice. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. But that yeah. is a weird thing. Was not expecting that to be I honest. I like your earlobes. They're so nice. They are pretty nice. <laughs> okay. That's why I've never got my ears pierced. I don't want them to ruin my earlobe. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then, um, and Wait, then physical, characteristic, oh, characteristic wise. Funny. You are funny. Thank you. are really so funny. Fine. You can use No, so that's long. so boring. But I think l literally, like, the... I can't, I don't want to say it's the glue that holds our relationship together because there's so much. Like, yeah. we are, like, together like this, but what... That's we are one. always, 
laughing. laughing. Yeah. It's just we're always joking about yeah, stuff. I, I, and I've always been like that. People. And I, when I found out that she's very sarcastic and quick witted and just like funny, I fell in love. I like know, that was that's, that's we got married real quick. Like when I found her and I saw the smile and then I saw how beautiful <laughs> you are and it was just like. Thanks. That's cute. Your your person. It's hard to find someone who's so hot and then has a, like. Dang, you're has the so personality nice. that matches up. He tells me this stuff so, all the time. I love it. It's just weird to like hear it when it's the cameras on us. It makes me like flustered. I'm just saying. Well, it, it it's true, but I think humor is probably our number one thing. Right? Right? <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> My favorite, I guess, like quality about you. I'll I'll say it that way is obviously that you're funny, but. If I had to say a different answer, I would say probably that you're always so positive. That's how you've always been. So if I've had a bad day or if you've had a bad day, it's like you always see the silver lining and everything. And I think that makes me, who is typically a very stressed person, like the smallest things can stress me out. Like for That's no true. reason or just like I'm very over expressive, I'm over paranoid over anxious over everything you like ground me and i think that's like a very comforting thing so you being so positive all the time like helps me be better so that's probably my favorite thing it's good baby relax life is good relax relax that's all you gotta say oh my God. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> How much do you love me on a scale from one to ten? <laughs> we not, love you, Natasha Shum. Natasha Shum. How much do you love me? Okay, yeah, I'll give her a one like, out of ten. Oh gosh, here you go. Oh, you can't give her a ten. <laughs> that mean I'd be, we'd be like together in a relationship. Would it be the worst thing in the world? <laughs> I give we you love a ten, you. girl. We You're love the best. you. <laughs> Do you have a monthly budget? Oh. How do you save and pay for vacations? We are oh, so bad with budgeting. But not to get into it too much, we're just gonna say don't we are not in debt. We don't, you know, don't spend the money you don't have, I guess. So everything that we have, every every vacation that we go on is accounted for. It's not like spur of the moment, let's go. Who cares if we don't have the money? It's like we don't go unless we can afford it. But do we budget? No. We, we are very bad budgeters. We try. We try. We legitly try. And that's um, probably another thing actually within our relationship that kind of like, it's, I can't say it brings us tension. It's not tension, but like um, a focus that we have that we're yeah. always, we are trying to, we would like to attain a budget that's successful. <laughs> and we're so bad at it. Oh but like gosh. we will go like two weeks and stay on budget and then it's just like our biggest thing is the weekends. Yeah, absolutely. Going out, then a babysitter, then this, then that. It's That's like true. a lot of things adds up and then there's different purchases and yeah. it's the vacationing is one thing. Like for us it's like that's just a whole different story, but like day to day living and things that we were so used to living a certain way that it's hard that if you wanted to reduce the amount that you spend, it's definitely hard. We're working on it though. We are, we're working on, we're it. Working we, on it. It's 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 been a work in progress for a long oh, time. Yeah. But I feel like one day, Why did you there's always so much question? going on. We, we want to genuinely have a budget that we like live by. Mm -hmm. And kudos to all of you guys oh who gosh. have actually attained that. So many people that. budget and we're like, we're just so bad at it. We'll do it. We are we'll bad at it. We, we would, are. We are the yeah. worst. We'll figure that we'll out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. I love all your videos. You are so sweet and genuine and hilarious. Thank you, Joanne. That was very sweet. That wasn't a question, but thank you. Thank you. Okay, this, this is a good one. What Friends TV character <laughs> do you <laughs> each resonate with? Which friends TV oh, show we character. Love. We actually love Friends in... We recently started. You we were like, watching it. I, I watched it without him, and then we restarted. I was like at season nine by myself, and then he decided to dive in, and I restarted, and now I want to watch it again. But who do you? I, I'm. You're totally, totally Gunther. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Like in the sideline, you're stuck with Rachel. I'm Rachel, and you're Gunther. <laughs> True, true. <laughs> that was. I'll that was answer. Funny. How about this? I'll I'll answer who I think is the male, and you'll say who I think is you think is the okay, female. Okay, you're okay. You're no question, Rachel. What? 
Okay, I am like Rachel, but I feel like I have <laughs> yeah, a little you're... bit of Monica in me too, though. Yeah, like you're both. CD. You're you're yeah. You are like you're like Rachel and Monica put together, kind yeah. of like. It's hard to decide which if I had to pick. You one. are a very girly girl, like <laughs> diva girl, like Rachel, and then also like you are like Monica, like very OCD. OCD, very planned out, like my day, everything. Yeah, I'm very organized. Um, you are definitely Joey. <laughs> Joey? But you're not, you're not, Joey, you're definitely what? not Chandler, who's like this, like, scrawny, like, I was soda. actually gonna say Chandler. You are so not Chandler. Well, not, it's, Chandler's, Chandler, I'm not like Chandler, but only, terrible. only because he's funny all the time. He's so sarcastic. So Joey cracks me up. Joey yeah, okay. Joey's an airhead. I guess you're combining You can't, those you're, two. you literally just called me an airhead. Like, no, you're the lady Joey's man. literally on purpose supposed to be, yeah, he gets the girls. Okay, I got the girl. Thanks. That's no, what it's, but I guess he's you're constantly also getting, going but after Chandler girls. But Chandler is so, like, self-conscious. You're so that's not that. But yeah, but it's like, who do you closest? You, you obviously hey, it's not. Hey, I'm Rachel and Monica, so you are Joey and Chandler. You're definitely not I mean, Ross. You said I'm definitely not Wait, Chandler. I guess technically you could have been a Ross. How come oh, nobody yes. wants to be Ross? Ross is, no, but Ross, Ross is, is smart, kind of well too. Bound, and, and, well yeah, that was... I guess you're Ross. <laughs> but I, wanna, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, they all have it's like. Not as interesting, maybe. Ross is not that funny. Yeah. I don't know. He's Gunther. I told you he's Gunther. I'm Gunther. <laughs> there you go. I'm Gunther. <laughs> Something that people don't know about Taras. This is a good one. Something people don't know about Taras. We're gonna keep that private. You don't Ooh, know. Mystery. That's a hard one. He's an open book. I think we both are as a couple and people might not believe that. Like we kind of, what we are, we bring to the table. It doesn't matter which setting we're in. There's literally nothing on this table. <laughs> There's actually a camera and a box. But um, what's something that people don't know about you? I feel like you have this um, kind of like funny, like active, you know, confident guy, but maybe what people don't see you his, is something, yeah. emotional. That's the thing. So what people don't see with you is he is, he, oh, this is a good one. Alina that's, can attest to this. The guy can cry watching the freaking right Lego movie. That's some raw yeah, stuff right there. He is a very, <laughs> don't, why? I'm, He's a very emotional person. I, I love that about him. It makes him a better dad, a better husband, a better person in business, a better friend. He's so emotional. He's so like, you're so aware of, you know, you're not a cold person. You're not, a lot of guys tend to be like, act like they're so like hard and strong and they have no feelings. But the one thing I met, I mean, the one thing I met, wow. The one thing I learned about you quickly when I met you was that you are so like in rhythm with your emotions in a good way. Like he doesn't mind tearing up in a movie, which I love. And that makes him like a good dad. He has just such, so much love. So much not that other dads don't but he has this special connection even with me like just your emotion your emotional side people don't see that often yes. he is a very emotional raw person and i love it how did you know he was the one dang honestly this might sound like phony baloney but i think our first date alone like you picked me up at our meeting spot at Starbucks by church and we drove around I remember it was Andy's pilot mm -hmm. and we randomly like pilot as in I was the pilot on a plane right <laughs> Honda pilot and um, we we just like drove we didn't even know where we were going we went far past the grounds that I'm familiar with in my area and we ended up like at a castle that we still visit pretty frequently just like you know kind of reliving our dating days but I don't know, I felt like even though we just started dating, I kind of knew that this was probably 90% sure gonna take off and he was going to be my guy, but everything happened so fast for us. We just knew from the first date we were gonna end up We together. literally clicked. It That's was, it, yeah, it's so we just, weird to we say. Clicked. It's so People hard. who don't know, we dated for and four months. And you don't months. even see that now and Four days. months he proposed. And within the first few weeks, months of dating, he just said flat out like, you should probably start finding your wedding dress because I'm gonna propose soon. And I was like, oh my gosh, because he knew it took a while for a dress to come in. And that I was only before. knew after you told me, but yeah. Yeah, after I told Bottom line, it was, it it was, was quick. It was so quick, it just clicked. It was so weird. Like that, I just knew. Just the missing half. It's when like you know, cliche, you know. When you know, you know. We did not wait or beat around the bush for us. It was just like, that was destiny. I love it. Love you.
Okay. How do you keep your house so clean? <laughs> I am so OCD, it bothers him, that's another pet peeve. Even if I'm going to CVS for like Advil, I will clean the house real quick. For me, it's like, oh well, what if somebody goodness. comes in? For me, I need to be clean. My house has to be spotless. No, no, no joke, no joke. We will- He looks that's, stressed out. It's so, it can be so annoying. I because know. it's like, we are, we are running out of the house. We will be back in 15 minutes. And like, we need to go. We, we're like, we need to go. I'm like cleaning the and oven. <laughs> She's like cleaning this. Yeah. I'm like, you're coming right back. All the you're coming doors back. Have to be cl like closed. Every door uh, needs to be shut. Chairs pushed kids in. Kids are dressed. I'm dressed. Shoes on. And she's like wiping stuff down. <laughs> I am. I'm always. What I noticed. I I walk what, around why? with like a paper towel. I'm always wiping something. <laughs> I noticed. I'll talk to Alina on the phone. Alina, shut up. And I'm like, I just noticed. I had nothing. I was on the couch like two seconds ago, and now I'm like wiping something. <laughs> Perfect timing, my camera's about to die, so. And thank you guys for the questions. It was thank really you guys. Fun. It was it actually was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I hope we didn't take up too much of your time. We are such jibber jabbers. I feel like yeah, I kinda love my career. Stop talking, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's um yeah. If you have any more questions, I will answer them in the comments below, of course. Or maybe we'll do a follow-up video one of these days and have like a lot more questions, like yeah. 50 things you don't know about us or something like that. But, but just, thank you. Yeah, thanks you yeah. guys. Oh um, my yeah, no. god. Yes. Oh, Chipotle. honey, how does it feel like that? Konnichiwa! I swear Konnichiwa means hi, no? Probably, but Konnichiwa! <laughs> Konnichiwa! It's like ciao, you should say ciao. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hello goodbye, Konnichiwa! Goodbye.